trait integration or trait conversion, it's, it's sometimes referred to, uh, is the movement of a uh, herbicide tolerant trait or a insect resistant trait from one inbred line into another. The timeline is very important in trait integration. Ten years ago, it was about a two and a half to three year process to get that trait inserted into that inbred line and back into the breeder's hands. Uh, with having the marker lab uh, that we installed in this building and also the embryo rescue lab that is in this building, uh, we've shortened our generation time and we've been able to do less generations or less crops here in the greenhouse, uh, which allows us to, to shorten that, that whole conversion process down to about 12 months now. We start by selecting an inbred line that has proven itself outside through our yield testing program. At that point, when it comes into the greenhouse, the first thing we want to do is to select a donor plant. The donor plant is going to be just what it sounds like. It's going to donate that transgenic trait into our pure inbred line. Once we've made that first initial cross, the seed that, that we harvest then are, are now positive for that transgenic trait. The problem that we run into is half of the donor genetics came from that donor plant. Uh, so the seed that we harvest is positive for the trait, but it's not the same inbred as what it came in here as. We have to go through a whole series of back crosses uh, from that point forward. And what we're doing is we're selecting the, the, the seed that we harvest from that first initial cross. We'll take it inside, we'll germinate it, we'll check those small plants for that transgenic trait to make sure that it's positive and then we'll do what we call a back cross. And what we're doing is we're crossing that seed back to the original parent that was sent in here from the corn breeders. Uh, it can take as many as, as four, five, or six back crosses or generations to get all of that genetic package put back together so that when that inbred line goes outside, it performs the same as the non-traded line. That would be the goal here in the greenhouse is to take the traded line and the non-traded line outside uh, the appearance would be the same, the yield would be the same, uh, the standability, all of those characteristics that we talk about. The advantage to the farmer uh, is that he can protect the yield that is in the bag. When we look at a bag of seed corn that comes from Vex Hybrids, there's really two packages in there, one being the genetic package, the other one being the trait package. And we need to look at those as two different packages. The, the farmer will select a genetic package that works on his farm, yields, and does the things he wants it to do. After that, we need to protect that yield, and we do that through these transgenic traits. Uh, they will protect us from a yield-robbing insect, or they will allow the farmer to use a certain type of herbicide that maybe he couldn't use on another crop.